Hey guys, how are you doing? This tutorial is about the magical 8-bit plug, plug-in for GarageBand. And before we dive into the actual program, let's just look at how to install the darn thing um, once you get it. And what you want to do is head into your... I'm going to show this on a Mac, by the way. Um, you want to find your hard drive and go into the audio folder and find the plugins folder and the components folder and you can see I've got various here uh, I've also put the chip 32 component in here but this is also where you put the magical 8-bit plug component and you know if you got any HAL, MAS or VST files just drop them in the corresponding folders here and you should be good to go so once you've done that it's just a matter of launching GarageBand and I'm gonna launch a new project. Doesn't really matter here, just choose piano. And just save it, whatever. Opening up, GarageBand. There you go. And yeah, so you got your piano here, but um, we're gonna change that from piano to the Magical 8-Bit Plug. So what you wanna do is find the Magical 8-Bit Plug over here. and. Yeah, I know this interface is in Danish right now because I'm from Denmark, but um, bear with me. I'll try and translate as we go. So you want to go into the edit for your uh, piano, and under sound generator, you want to choose the magical 8-bit plug. It should be on the list here you know, if you put it in the right folder. So, you know, there you go. And if you load up your uh, keyboard interface here, you can see we got a cool sounding retro game sound going on right now. And you can click on this uh, area here to enter the settings for the Magic Lady Plug, which is where the interesting, it's where the magic happens, so to speak. You got some different oscillators on this drop down here. Uh, as default, it's set to square, but you can choose triangle to get some different kinds of sounds here. Noise. I like this one because it's, it's kind of cool to make some uh, to make a beat out of, uh, which what is what we did for the um, Panorama 9 video. Uh, if we, you know, I set it to noise and I went down here to the lower keys, you can see how you can hear how that sounds. It could easily be a beat. And you got the 25% pulse, nasty. Oops, and you got the. 12.5% pulse. Different sound again. And just a quick little tip down here, you can see the sweep switch drop down menu here is pretty cool. Without it, it sounds like this. But once you apply this to, let's say, negative, you get like a, <laughs> a change of tone, like, and it goes from, if you choose the positive one, it goes up instead of down. So this one could be maybe suitable for power-up sounds or, you know, whatever. Or oh, jump sounds. If you uh, tweak these settings here a little bit. Oh, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a matter of playing around with the settings to get something you like. And, and yeah, that was a quick little walkthrough of how to handle the Magic Lapid plug. And I hope you found this somewhat useful. And stay tuned for more tutorials from barkvideo.com.